Hey guys, I know it's not Sunday, but I was on um, YouTube and I saw this thing that sparked something in me. Um, I Elevation Worship just came out with with um, with an album called When Wind Meets Fire. It's an awesome album. I would say that everybody's streaming everywhere now. And on that album, there's a song called um, Oh You Praise. Great song. Understand the sentiments. It's, they're great sentiments. But the Lord um, said to me, take it a little further. He said, I don't just want their praise because it's easy to say a hallelujah on a Sunday morning or to say, I praise you, Lord. And and sometimes it could be hard depending on how you're feeling, but most of the time it's easy. But what he really wants and needs from you is you. What he really wants more than your praise, more than your worship, is you, your life, your thoughts, your being. Like, once he has you, once he has your life, your thoughts, your being, your whole substance. It's it's easier to give him your praise and your worship rather than just saying hallelujah on a Sunday morning because the Lord, um, the, the pastor or worship leader says, give the Lord praise and whatever. It's it's um it's cuz when worship is an outflow of your life once you've given him yourself and you have given him every aspect of your life from your financial life from your relational life from your sex life from your you know whatever like friendship life um whatever your once you've given him your whole entire life uh praise and worship is an outflow and and let's define praise and let's go deeper and define worship praise for me uh for with my def in my definition praise for me is just telling him how how good he is and how you love him or whatever that's praise that's when you lord i love you lord i honor you lord lord you are good lord you are wonderful it's it's extolling him it's praising him it's like saying if like if you say to uh, when your children or uh, I like giving compliments. This is a better way to say it. I love giving compliments. So when I give someone a compliment saying, I like that sweater. It looks awesome on you. The other day, someone was wearing a t-shirt that I loved. It had um, uh splashes of color on it which I thought were really awesome and I said oh my gosh I like your t-shirt and I'm a person who loves to give compliments so that is praise like you're you're extolling what someone's wearing you're you're telling them how how wonderful they did that or whatever um, and worship, worship now goes goes um, a little bit deeper. 
worship is that you're you're subscribing worth to a thing, and you're not only telling telling them how good it looks or whatever, but you're but you're but you're ascribing value to it, and worship properly understood goes deeper than praise. So you could, if you're married, you could tell um, your wife, you could tell your spouse, oh my gosh, I love that on you, honey. That's awesome. And, but worship says we would yeah, you would say, I love the way you do that. I love the way you father or mother our kids. I love the way you just kind of are as a person. That That's kind of going a little bit deeper. And that's why in, in worship, worship truly understood should create something. It should go deeper than Lord, I love you in whatever. That's that's praise. But worship is ascribing value, is worth ship. Worth ship. That's what it is. You're ascribing value and praise is just telling God how how great he is or how um, you know, how wonderful he is. That's praise, and that's important. That's the first level. But for true worship, look, you have to get to a level where it's, ju- where it's just you and the Lord, and you are just bare bones naked with him, and you give him yourself. So he doesn't just want your praise or you don't just um you don't just want to give him praise you don't just owe him praise he wants you more than your praise more than your worship more than the church things you do on Sunday or even if you do it during the week He wants you because giving God your your praise or your worship without giving him your lifestyle doesn't, doesn't make any sense. He wants to have control of everything in your life. He wants to, to, to not, not, only have control but he wants to partner with you in that he wants to he doesn't want to have control like we think he want like control as in a domineering thing like let me control you no he, he wants to partner with you in your life he wants to take things off your hands that you were struggling with. He wants to be with you in the joys and the pain and the sorrow and the and the elation. He wants to be the first person you tell when your daughter gets into university. He wants to be like the first person you run to when you're lonely and you're you you don't know what to do or he wants to be the person uh you share your joys with you share your heart with um and he can be that close and he wants yourself i've often said this i said he doesn't want your he doesn't oh want your sin he wants yourself and once you give him yourself that means you give him everything so when we say we accept the lord i don't think we 
we accept the Lord. I think it's a kind of acknowledgement that, Lord, you exist. But he wants us to go deeper. He wants us to know that uh, he wants us. He wants us because nobody wants to be with someone who just wants them. Uh, he, who, j- no, erase that. Nobody wants to be with someone who just wants what they can give. Everybody wants to be with someone who accepts them unequivocally and what unequivocally in theirs, and, and they just love you unconditionally, unconditionally. Everybody wants that kind of love, and that's what he wants. So more than your praise, more than your worship, although those are important, but first, before that, he wants yourself. He wants your life. He wants your heart. He wants he wants what you're doing on Netflix. He wants your movie choices. He wants your book choices. He wants your music choices. He wants everything in your life. He wants your children. He cares about all of that. He cares about the littlest things in your life to the big things in your life. He wants everything. He wants to know what's concerning you what's making you happy, what's stressing you out, what's, you know, um, what's turning you on, what he can do to help you, how he can support you. He wants all that. He doesn't just want your religious praise and worship on a Sunday. He wants your life. He wants your movie choices. He wants yourself. And when you put yourself in the hands of the potter, he makes something beautiful on that potter wheel. And he wants to make your life into something beautiful. And if it is already beautiful, he will make it more beautiful. Because when you give him yourself, uh, not only will praise and worship be an outflow of that, but you, you will get more revelation about who you are and how you operate and whose you are. And it will be just so awesome. And that's what he wants today. So he wants your life. He wants yourself. He wants your movie choices. He wants your movie choices and music choices. And don't worry, he won't turn it into some uh, religious kind of thing. He'll just, he'll surprise you. I don't know how many times the Lord has spoken to me uh, through through a secular book or uh, through secular music or whatever. Um, What I like to call vertical uh, horizontal music, um, because I think the word secular, secular means music totally apart from God. I don't think that's the right word for it. I think I like to use vertical music, which is, which, which is, um, music that goes from human to human, whether that be a love song or a friendship song or whatever. That is vertical music, oh, and horizontal music is music uh, from from us to the Father, or or from the Father to us. It's it's from us to heaven. So that's what I like to call it. So he likes he wants to know what kind of vertical music you like, and what kind of horizontal music you like. He wants to have a a choice of that. He wants to know what kind of vertical movies you like and horizontal movies you like. Same thing. 
horizontal movies are movies with human about human beings, human being, and hor or horizontal movies are movies that are us to the father. And it is just awesome. So yeah, so that's what I was pondering this morning. Once you give the Lord yourself, know that he finds you precious and he won't take advantage of you. God is like not not like man, you can trust him. And even if you don't trust him right now, just just take that one step and he will show you what you need to do. And you don't need to say a certain prayer or whatever. Just come to him. Spill your heart all over the floor. What have you got to got to lose? Just spill your heart all over the floor. He wants you. He loves you. He sees you. He sees every mistake that you've made. He sees every mis- every mistake that you will ever make. But he also sees every joy, every happy moment. And he wants to celebrate those with you. He wants to be the first person you call when that guy uh, or girl calls you back or when you're on your first date or when you get engaged. He wants to be the first person you tell before your family. He wants to be there in the moments of your life. Thank you, Lord, for being here with us this morning and teaching us uh, that more than our praise, more than our worship, you want our ourselves. You want our lives. You want our uh, horizontal movie choices and our vertical movie choices and our horizontal music choices and our uh, vertical music choices and stuff. So that's awesome. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day, guys. See you Sunday.